Tonight, growing concerns over a possible triple demic this winter. The flu, RSV, and COVID converging. Cases keep rising much earlier than usual. Nearly half of a Virginia high school, about 1,000 students, were out Friday with flu-like symptoms. Classes resumed today after administrators canceled some weekend activities. We've all been inside for a long time, and the germs are are what they are. A major pharmacy now says flu activity at its clinics has more than doubled over the past two weeks. Rhode Island, Delaware, Maine, and Washington, D.C. now report more than 90 percent of their pediatric hospital beds are full. Several other states between 80 and 90 percent. Many patients battling RSV, a common respiratory illness that's usually like a simple cold, but can be very serious in children under two or older adults. He was having a hard time breathing. He was skipping breaths. In South Carolina, Corey Robertson's newborn son had RSV and was on a ventilator. I was very scared. Um, you know, he's seven weeks old. Um, so I definitely had fear that I haven't really felt before, just the unknown of what was going on. In Providence, Rhode Island, Hasbro Children's Hospital is now at 125% capacity. Extra patients staying in the emergency department while they wait for available beds to be admitted. The last few weeks is something that I've never seen before. This children's floor clinical manager has worked here 22 years. What are you most worried about as we head into the winter? I'm worried about the kids getting sicker and the lack of beds and just the volume of children that we have in the hospital and being able to fit them all in for the care that they need. Another problem, recently more pediatric units across the country have closed, straining the system. We're bringing patients into areas of the hospital that we never used before and we are trying to sort of relocate staff to those areas to, to best care for them. And Gabe, to decrease the severity of this triple threat, I know doctors are once again urging people to make sure their COVID and flu shots are up to date. Yes, Lester, just 6% of Americans have gotten their Omicron booster shots. And tomorrow, President Biden is set to get his dose in a push to get people protected, Lester. All right, Gabe Gutierrez, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.